Associative law of multiplication. What is associative law of multiplication? Now to verify the associative law of multiplication. If we have some random complex numbers like z sub 1 which is a plus iota b, comma z sub 2 which is c plus iota d, z sub 3 which is e plus iota f. Look, you might be confused that sometimes we take iota b but sometimes we take b iota. Whether you take iota first or after b, it is absolutely one thing. There's no difference. You can put iota b or b iota. There's no difference. Similarly, there is no difference between iota d and d iota. And also iota f or f iota. Then, according to the associative law of multiplication, I will have z sub 1 into z sub 2 inside the braces equals to z sub 1 times z sub 2 inside the braces times z sub 3 which equals to a plus iota b into c plus iota d into e plus iota f equals to a plus iota b into c plus iota d into e plus iota f look my z sub 1 is a plus iota b my z sub 2 is c plus iota d similarly z sub 3 is e plus iota f Plug in z sub 1 here as well, which is a plus iota b. z sub 2 is c plus iota d. z sub 3 is e plus iota f. Now first to take the product between these two terms, and then we'll take the product with this one. Similarly, first take the product of these two terms, and then with this term, which equals to a plus iota b into c times e plus iota cf plus iota d e plus iota squared df equals to AC plus iota AD plus iota BC plus iota squared BD times E plus iota F. When you take the product of these two terms, these two terms first inside these yellow braces, you will get C into E because remember C times E will be CE and then C times IF will be ICF. Then iota D times E will be iota DE iota d times iota f will be iota squared df look iota times iota will be iota squared similarly on the right side remember this is my left side and this is my right side i don't have enough space to write both the left and the right side in one line i just put the right side here it is actually the right side and this is the left side similarly by taking the product of these two expressions inside these yellow braces i will have a times C will be AC, A times iota D will be iota AD. Similarly, iota B times C will be iota BC, iota B times iota D will be iota squared BD, iota times iota will be iota squared. Now to plug in the value of iota squared equals to negative 1 here and iota squared equals to negative 1. So I'm gonna have a plus iota b into c times e plus iota into cf plus de minus df equals to ac plus iota into ad plus bc minus bd times e plus iota f. I plugged the value of iota squared equals to negative 1. For the iota squared I put negative 1 here so negative 1 times df will be negative df. Similarly by plugging the value of iota squared equals to negative 1 I will have negative 1 negative 1 times bd will be negative bd here then iota common from these two terms so i'm gonna have iota into cf plus de similarly i have iota here and iota here so i took iota common from these two terms in the right side to have iota into ad plus bc it equals to a plus iota b into ce minus df plus iota into cf plus de equals to AC minus BD plus iota into AD plus BC into E plus iota F. We have negative DF and CE. These are the terms without iota. So the terms which don't have iota, bring them together. Therefore, I pick negative DF from here and put it there with the CE to have CE minus DF inside the parenthesis plus iota into CF plus DE. Do the same thing here. We have negative BD and AC. AC and negative BD are the terms without iota. There is no iota for these two terms. So pick negative BD from here and put it there with the AC. So I'm going to have AC minus BD inside the parenthesis. Plus iota into AD plus BC into E plus iota F. 
Look, there's a product between this expression and this one. So take their products, A times CE will be A into CE. When you take the product of A with this expression, you will have A into CE minus DF. Again, take the product of A with this expression. So I'm going to have I into CF plus DE into A. Now to pick the second term, IOTA B into CE minus DF equals to IOTA B into CE minus DF. And then take the product of IOTA B with this expression. So I'm going to have IOTA squared into B into CF plus DE. Take the product of IOTA B with the IOTA into CF plus DE. IOTA times IOTA becomes IOTA squared times B into CF plus DE. This is for the left side. Do the same thing for the right side. For the right side, I have the product of this expression and this whole expression. Apply the product here. So E times AC minus BD will be E into AC minus BD. Similarly, E times IOTA into AD plus BC will be IOTA into AD plus BC into E. Plus IOTA F into AC minus BD will be IOTA F into AC minus BD. Similarly, IOTA F into IOTA into AD plus BC will be IOTA squared into F into AD plus BC. IOTA times IOTA will be IOTA squared. It equals to ACE minus ADF plus IOTA into ACF plus IOTA into ADE plus IOTA into BCE minus IOTA into BDF plus IOTA squared BCF plus IOTA squared BDE equals to EAC minus EBD plus IOTA into EAD plus IOTA into EBC plus IOTA into FAC minus IOTA into FBD plus IOTA squared into FAD plus IOTA squared into FBC. Just take their products. A times ACE will be ACE. A times negative DF will be negative ADF. Similarly, IOTA A into CF will be IOTA ACF. Don't forget, we have product of A as well here. So I have IOTA A. The product is IOTA A. There's a product of both IOTA and A with the CF and with the DF. Therefore, I have IOTA ACF. Similarly, IOTA A into DE will be IOTA ADE. There is no issue. You can put A with the IOTA as well. There's no problem. As long as it has a product. Whether you put A here or A here, there is a product. IOTA B into CE will be IOTA BCE. IOTA B into DF will be IOTA BDF. IOTA squared B into CF will be IOTA squared BCF. IOTA squared B into DE will be IOTA squared BDE. E into AC will be EAC. E into BD will be EBD. IOTA E into AD will be IOTA EAD. IOTA E into BC will be IOTA EBC. You can put this E with the IOTA here as well. Similarly, IOTA F into AC will be IOTA FAC. IOTA F into BD will be IOTA FBD. IOTA squared F into AD will be IOTA squared FAD. IOTA squared F into BC will be IOTA squared FBC. Now to apply I squared equals to negative 1. According to the complex rule, IOTA squared equals to negative 1. Plug in negative 1 here for the IOTA squared and plug in negative 1 here as well, here and here. Replace all the IOTA squared by negative 1. So I'm going to have negative BCF. There was IOTA squared. I plugged in the value of IOTA squared equals to negative 1. So negative 1 times positive BCF will be negative BCF. I applied the IOTA squared equals to negative 1. We know that IOTA squared equals to negative 1, so there was IOTA squared here. IOTA squared equals to negative 1. So negative 1 times BCF becomes negative BCF. Similarly, I have IOTA squared here. So I replaced IOTA squared by negative 1. So negative 1 times BDE will be negative BDE. I had IOTA squared here as well. So I replaced IOTA squared by negative 1. Negative 1 times FAD will be negative FAD. There was also IOTA squared here. So IOTA squared equals to negative 1, negative 1 times FBC will be negative FBC. Do further simplification to have ACE minus ADF minus BCF minus BDE plus IOTA into ACF plus ADE plus BCE minus BDF equals to EAC minus EBD minus FAD minus FBC plus IOTA into EAD plus EBC plus FAC minus FBD. Bring all the terms together who don't have IOTA. ACE doesn't have IOTA, 
negative ADF doesn't have iota negative BCF doesn't have iota negative BDF doesn't have iota so bring all these all these terms together here to have ACE minus ADF minus BCF minus BDE these are all the terms without iota there is no iota for these terms so put them together here inside the parenthesis but what about the terms with the iota these are the terms with the iota put them together and then take iota common because remember there is iota here 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 so take iota common i will have iota into acf plus ade plus bce minus bdf do the same things for the right side as well bring all the all the terms together without iota we have eac minus ebd minus fad minus fbc and put all the terms together with the iota and then take iota common so i will have iota into ead plus ebc plus fac minus fbd finally i will get these expressions where the left side is absolutely equals to the right side i just interchange the places of eac to make exactly like ace if there is a product you can put a here or e here whatever you want you can put but as long as they have product between them for the fad i make negative adf and for the fbc i made negative bcf just to make resemblance with the left side similarly we have negative adb so i can write it negative bde i write fac equals to acf ead equals to plus ade ebc equals to bce negative bdf so we can see here that left side equals to the right side that's what we were trying to prove mathematically that the final expression the final expression will be in the complex form it is in the complex form when you look to the left side this is my real part it is the part without iota so it is my real part this is the part with the iota it will be my imaginary part similarly for the right side this is my real part and this is the imaginary part thus associative law of multiplication is verified here let me take an example by applying the associative law of multiplication which is z sub 1 equals to 1 plus iota 2 comma z sub 2 equals to 4 plus iota 2 comma z sub 3 equals to 1 plus iota 5 then z sub 1 into z sub 2 into z sub 3 equals to z sub 1 into z sub 2 into z sub 3 this is according to the associative law but what law multiplication law it is associative law of multiplication we have the product here we have multiplication here if there are three random complex numbers one is z sub 1 second one is z sub 2 the third one is z sub 3 now to verify mathematically we're going to verify mathematically the associative law of multiplication that this left side equals to the right side and also the final expression is in the complex form that's what we are trying to prove that the final expression is also in a complex form by applying the associative law of multiplication let me plug in the values in the final expression in the final expression of the associative law of multiplication which is this one this one plug in the respective values for a b c d f here in this final expression final expression which is this my a is 1 here this is my a this is my a this is my b c d e f plug in all the respective values here for a b c d f it equals to 4 minus 10 minus 40 minus 4 plus i turn into 20 plus 2 plus 8 minus 20 equals to 4 minus 10 minus 40 minus 4 plus i turn into 20 plus 2 plus 8 minus 20 look these are not the decimal numbers this point is a product 1 times 4 times 1 is 4 1 times 2 times 5 is 10 2 times 4 times 5 is 40 2 times 2 times 1 is 4 similarly 1 times 4 times 5 is 20 1 times 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 4 times 1 is 8 2 times 2 times 5 is 20 1 times 4 times 1 is 4 1 times 2 times 5 is 10 2 times 4 times 5 is 40 2 times 2 times 1 is 4 1 times 4 times 5 is 20 1 times 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 4 times 1 is 8 2 times 2 times 5 is 20 which implies that 
negative 50 plus iota 10 equals to negative 50 plus iota 10. 4 minus 10 minus 40 minus 4 is negative 50. 20 plus 2 plus 8 minus 20 is 10. Similarly, 4 minus 10 minus 40 minus 4 is negative 50. 20 plus 2 plus 8 minus 20 is 10. Thus, associative law of multiplication is verified here. We can see here that left side equals to the right side. The final, the final expression is in the complex form. It is in a complex form. On the left side, this is my real part, this is my imaginary part with the iota. This is my real part and this is my imaginary part. That's what we were trying to prove mathematically.